welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm reviewing an amazon wig this is a synthetic wig it's a full wig but i'll be styling it as a half wig and it's a finger coil type of wig right now i'm taking off the fishnet and i got it in the color 1b i will leave the direct wig the direct wig link below this wig is super cute and natural looking the style is HT Diana in the color 1B, like I said. And this wig doesn't have any clips in it at all. But it does have the adjustable strap in the back. I'm super excited, so let's get started. right here i wanted to slow the video down so you can see exactly how i did the finger cools so i'm taking my thumb and my index finger on both of my hands and twisting the hair starting at the base and twisting it as taut as i can and going down the shaft of the hair and when i get to the end i'm taking my index finger and just swirling the hair until it curls around my finger this is pretty simple if you don't know how to do the finger cools you can do small two strings and twists as well. Okay, cuties, so this is one way you can style the hair. I just push my twist back you can wear it like a half wig this these are my twists right here and this is the wigs twist my hair is more shinier than this wig but when it dries it will blend a little better can Eva put some hair in your face make a little bang this can be option number one all right so let's move on to style number two so this is style number two and now i have to say this is my favorite style it looks very natural it's such a cute simple and easy style i just used a rubber band to pull half of the hair up the styling options on this wig is endless. You can do a low bun. You can do two buns. I really love this wig. Um, this is the back of the hair. And let's move on to style number three. Can you focus on me? Baby, can you focus on me? Okay, this is style number three. I just used this sleeve type of headband. I'll try to link it below. So I just used this and push the twist back and put down some baby hairs in the front. This is easy, simple, and cute. And we're going to use this same headband to transition into style number four. If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> So this is style number four and as you can tell I'm feeling myself. This is my second favorite style. I love me a good side ponytail updo. This is so cute and I just left some of my twists out in the front. Well I left one out in the front. And this is the back, what it looks like. And like I said, I'll try to link these type of uh, hair wraps, scarves, whatever you want to call it. I'll try to link it below. This is very cute. 
I am feeling it, honey. Yes. Who is she? Too cute. This is the final style. I didn't get footage of me wrapping on this, um, putting on this scarf. But if you want a tutorial, just let me know in the comments. This is the final style. Super cute as well. Here's the back. Stay tuned for my final thoughts. Okay, cutie. So I showed you three ways that you can style this wig. And I'm going to get my final review. I give this wig a 9 out of 10. And the only reason I'm not giving it a 10 is because it doesn't have any wig clips in it. So it doesn't feel secure. But you could put, you can use bobby pins or you can sew in wig clips if you want. But other than that, I really like this wig. It's very versatile. It's a good protective style. You can just pop it on and go. You don't have to do the spiral curls that I did in the front. Um, if you don't know how to do the um, spiral curls, you can just do two strand twists. But I love this wig and it's very affordable as well. So I'll leave the direct link below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thumbs up the video and also turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Until next time, peace. Uh -huh.